since you're watching this video i'm assuming your computer is running with an issue here as you're trying to open a program recently installed this error arrives the program can start because the long file named the dll is missing from your computer it's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video patiently and follow that method on your computer hello everyone welcome to take a version in this very short video i'll be fixing this error within three minutes so Let's begin. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for the entire file name .dll. You can choose any results. I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. You can see if you download option based on the architecture. To know your architecture, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see mine is 64 bit. So, I'll be downloading the first one. I strongly recommend you to read this page. It has backup fixing method. You can try that also. But I'm following the easy way. As the download complete, hit open. Here you can see two files. One is the missing DLL, another one is readme. To place the DLL, open this PC. Local Dixie, Windows, and find a folder name System32. The home of 32 bit DLLs. I'll click on the zip file, drag the DLL, and draw. I've already done this, so they are asking me to replay. And hit continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check. By typing the file name, you can see the file is properly placed in the folder right now. So 32-bit process is done, you can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64-bit user, so open this PC one more time. Local DC, Windows, and this time find a folder named syswall 64 the home of 64-bit DLLs and same again check this one more time yes the file is properly placed in the 64-bit folder also so job is done Finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are two lockers, you need to download the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and install your program again, and that will surely do it. And that's all. If you follow me step by step, you will no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.